everyone welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to pick up my new daily so if you follow me on instagram if you don't already make sure you go and follow me if you follow me on instagram you'll know that the subaru is for sale and i've bought a new daily so we're going to pick it up now um and as with all um great cars we're in the uh, we're in the ford going down to uh, bedford to collect this car so uh yeah we just stopped in at rugby services um we've made pretty good time this morning so we're heading down there now uh, we've got Tyler and Owen, and we're uh, we're going to uh, we're going to pick it up, and I'll show you it when we get there. So we're uh, here now. Um, I've just bought the car. It's in it's in an all right. I'm not going to lie. It could be better, but it's not it's not too bad. Um, the boys like it. Um, it's not too bad. It needs a little bit of love, but that's what it's all about. So. Um, this is the new daily. <laughs> it's a 5 series 2.5 litre uh, BMW. So there we go, it's the estate version. Um, like I said, there's a few little issues with it. Um, just like the headlights fogged up. Um, there's a few like tiny little warning lights and stuff on the dash, but nothing we can't sort out. It's uh, It's got a little bit of paint missing on the bumper and there's a few other little cosmetic bits, but other than that, it's pretty cool. It drives pretty nice. But um, yeah, it's insured and taxed now. So we're gonna go and uh, get some fuel and head home. So we're on the way home now. Uh, we're on the A1 at the minute. We're gonna go jump onto the M6. Uh, gonna make a stop off at my parents' house just to show my dad, because he'll be jealous that I've got a tour in Beamer before him. So uh, unlucky dad. Um, but yeah, uh, really, really happy with it. Um, we just filled it up with fuel. £82 to fill. I reckon I'll get 487 miles out of the tank, so I will be testing that to its extreme. But there we go. Really, really happy with it. Uh, we'll obviously be having a play around of it. Once it's back, I'm going to have a go over and just basically see all the issues that the car's got so we can put together a list of things to sort. It's got a year's MOT, so I know there can't be anything too, like, you know, drastically bad. There's a few bits, majorly sort of cosmetic bits. Oh my God, what's this? Fuck. Um, so, there is a, so there is a few bits wrong, uh, obviously. Uh, as, as much as it's a daily, it's a little bit of a project as well. Um, it's mainly cosmetics bit. There's a few little um, electrical issues and whatever, but we'll sort them. It's got a year's MOT, so we're going to enjoy the drive back. Um, it's really, really comfortable. Um, so yeah, we're going to enjoy the drive back and I'll give you a really good look over it when we're back. Okay, so it's the next day now, Beamer's home. Um, I'm just gonna go through a few of the little things that are wrong with it. Um, it drove absolutely beautifully all the way home. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go through and show you a few little things that we'll be fixing in the coming weeks. So the first thing up on the list is the front bumper here. As you can see, someone's hit something in it um, and it's obviously grazed it. So I'm gonna sort that out because it just looks a bit messy. Um, yeah, I just wanna clean it up a little bit. We're obviously going to get rid of all the chrome around the car and come around to this side there's a few more scuffs but i'm not too worried about them they might just polish out but as you can see this headlight is completely fogged up now it does unfog um, over time uh, by the time we got it home yesterday it was completely unfogged 
but you know I don't, I don't really want it like that it looks crap and also it's an MOT fail the bottom fog lights are also um, fogged up so that's not really useful so I'm gonna try and have a, a look at them also you need a full oil and coolant change um, it, it says it's due a service on the dash so we're gonna sort that um, I'd like to put some nicer wheels on it, put some black wheels on it. It does need a tyre on the back, but I'll put new tyres on all round. The front pads and discs, although they don't look that bad, are absolutely shot. Um, they're, yeah, I uh, stepped on the brakes yesterday coming home, obviously, and uh, yeah, the, the judder is terrible, so we're going to change them. I have heard from um, one of the guys I work with that it could also be caused by track ends, so we're going to have a look at them too. I'd like to put some blacked out uh, indicator side repeater things on it um, just because I think they look nice. There's a few bits of paint missing on the bonnet so just going to see whether I can maybe get a touch up pen or something like that for it. Um, the whole car is absolutely filthy. Um, just the camera's not really picking it up that well but it's, there's like a fine grey film on the car so that needs fixing. Um, I might try and do that today. The windscreen uh, seal up here is as you can see missing and broken um, it's not the actual seal I think it's more of a sort of showpiece but we'll obviously sort that now one thing that we didn't realize until um, we got home actually is that um, the windscreen is actually the bathroom sealed in um, no idea why but there we go um, so the panoramic roof doesn't actually open um, so yeah, we'll uh, look at sorting that at some point. So another thing up with the car is that the central locking doesn't work. Um, I can see they've had a go at splitting the key here, hence the sellotape. Uh, so I'm gonna have a go at fixing that. I've done it for my girlfriend's mini key, so I'm gonna give it a go on this one. I'm assuming the battery's just dead inside of it, although it might need repairing, so uh, I'll have a look into that. So there is a few uh, issues on the dash. So wash fluid ever low, whatever, set time and date, whatever. Uh, parking light front left failure. Uh, that's a new one actually. Um, that wasn't there yesterday. Um, but we'll have a look at that. Uh, restraint systems faulty and PDC failure. So PDC is the uh, parking sensors. Uh, so I'm not too sure what's up with them. Could just be a wiring fault or something like that. Um, restraint systems faulty is the other one. So that's obviously to do with the airbag and the seat belts. That fault does leave them two lights on. The check engine light isn't on, it's just because we've got the ignition on. But that does leave them two on. Then eventually, after driving the car for some time, you get an issue to do with adaptive suspension. Uh, not too sure what that is. Apparently this car is on factory air suspension. Um, so I'll have a look into that at some point. In the interior, we've got the cup holder here. Uh, it's missing a button. Uh, might see if I can grab myself one of them. Other than that, the rest of the interior is pretty clean. Uh, obviously, as I said, the sunroof doesn't work. Um, if I back it off, it just moves the, the little roof thing, the little cover, but it never actually moves the roof. But other than that, the leather seats are all in really good condition, really comfortable. Uh, there's an old school phone holder in here. Mini had one of them too. Um, leather seats in the back as well. We also have auto lights and also auto washers um, but I do need to have a look at how to get them washers to work automatically. But yeah other than uh, all these sort of little issues and it being in dire need of a wash uh, there's not much else wrong with it really. Um, the car does have tinted windows all round. Whoever did it obviously has never read any sort of ruling or anything. The front windows are the same as the back windows and you can't see in the back windows. You can just about see in the front windows, um, but not really. Um, so we need to have a look at getting these tints taken off. I can see they're sort of pulling away anyway, um, but yeah, they're just ridiculously dark. And although it looks cool and it does keep a lot of the sun out, um, yeah, they're too dark and I'm just asking to get pulled with them really. So. Uh, I'm going to be looking at taking them off soon as well. So we had a small issue yesterday coming home. Um, I went to the shop last night, uh, other side of town. On the way home, the uh, centre dash started flickering. I was just like, okay, whatever, maybe there's a loose connection in the back or something. Uh, and then the centre dash just turned itself off. Uh, then it came back on and it said transmission fault, ABS fault, traction control fault, 
uh, brake fault, pull in as soon as possible, take it to BMW, do not pass go, do not collect $200, that sort of stuff. So I was like, okay. So I pulled into a car park, I turned the car off and it wouldn't start again. Uh, so I was like, well, this is great because the jump leads that I always keep in the car are still in the Subaru, which is currently parked up over there. So it's not very useful than being in there when I was in this. So, uh, very, very luckily, there was a very nice um, lady and, and, and her boyfriend. Uh, they were there and they had jump leads, very luckily, and they offered to jump the car for us. So, uh, if you're watching this, I doubt you are, but if you're watching this, thanks so much, we really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, they gave us a jump and that got us back up and running. Um, I think maybe the battery might be on the way out. I'm going to do a little quick test on it today. Um, and if it is dead, then I'll be replaced. But for now, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the new car. Let me know if there's any mods that you think I should do to it. I don't really want to modify it, like slam it to the floor, exhaust, that sort of stuff. But I might do a few little bits here and there uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer and maybe sound a bit nicer. And I would like a little bit more power. But thank you for watching. Check out my website, www.grindinggears.uk. Check out my Instagram, at grindinggearsofficial. And I'll see you in the next one.